Torrey on for his second inning to work. In the pitch. Swinging a deep drive to right field. Going back is Amaral to the wall. Look it up. It is gone. A driller debut. Gavin Lux now has three hits and he unloads a two run homer here in the sixth inning. The drillers now leading five nothing. Quite a debut. That ball landed up on the berm. for Rancho Cucamonga. Now he has his first as a driller. There's Wes Darville, who's two for three with two runs driven in. And the pitch in there for a strike. Got hit by one drive to foul balls. Justin Robinson just showed off the vertical leap. Here's a liner to right field. That's going to get down and do some damage. All the way back to the corner it goes. Extra bases for Lux. McKinstry is home. Here comes Landon. He scores. Racing around third and coming in as well as the pitcher Hamilton. And standing at third with a bases clearing triple is Gavin Lux. Three to one drillers. Gavin is now eight for 19 in the series. Pitch swing. He drives it deep to right field. Down the right field. Inside the uh, foul pole down the right field line. Here's the uh, payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him with a fastball and the umpire rules foul flip again into the glove long. So uh, another strikeout and for May. So White hooks uniform with number one on the back. The 0 1. Swing and a foul right side. And the count 0 2. 96 on the radar gun. Went up to Daniela, his fiance. She caught the baseball. How about that? Well, I wonder if she'll get it autographed. <laughs> I would imagine. <laughs> the 0-2. Fastball in there, strike three. So Correa down on strikes, but Daniela Rodriguez, who became very, very famous when Carlos proposed to her right after the Astros won the World Series, caught the baseball. Taylor ready at the plate, the 0-1. Check swing on a breaking ball. They appeal up the first base line, and that's called strike as he went around by Kyle Wallace. That's the first base umpire bringing up Logan Taylor for strike two. Now it's Dustin May coming back, and he's one pitch away from escaping this bases loaded one out jam. Taylor's gonna have to battle here. Now time called. Or May could even get set. May has a chance to strike out the side despite allowing the bases to be loaded. Striking out Mendoza to start the inning. Lewis now ahead of Taylor 0-2. Here comes the pitch home. Takes a breaking ball on the outside corner. At right hander ready. The 2-2 two -two to Sierra. Swing and a miss on a breaking ball. Now the next pitch. Swing and a miss. That one came inside. Close to hitting Harrison himself. Ricocheted off the mid of David Banuelos for the backstop. The count is 2-2 two and two for Harrison. Nobody on, nobody out. all with the windup. Here comes the pitch. Breaking ball cut on and missed for strike three. Cruiser set again from the stretch. Now at his waist. It's towards second. Fires an 0-1. 
popped up into deep right field. Back goes Nick Dean, watches it go over the wall. That's way out of here. Nolan Jones cranks one to right field off the visiting, off the home team clubhouse. It's now a 5-0 lead for Mahoning Valley. So Bruner getting smacked around early. Double by Ernie Clement to lead off, and then Nolan Jones smacks a home run to right. A good hitting team. 2-1, fly ball, well hit left field, way back, way back, and it is gone. Home run, Nolan Jones, and it's 5-3 Lake County. Mingle's next pitch, hit high in the air to left. This is deep. Going back is Pearson in the opposite field home run for Nolan Jones. A 10-4 game. Jones is 12th of the season. He goes the opposite way into left field. Swing and a miss. If you're Larry Rothschild. Swing and a miss. Sanchez makes the throw and Bird comes down with it. Swing and a miss. Third strikeout. Swing and a miss. Three strikeouts in the inning. There's Johnny Field. This could be a double play. This is a double play. Six, six, three. To lefties. Swing wow. and a miss. Bases loaded. One, two count, two out. Yankees lead one nothing. Swing and a miss. He got him. And he works into and out of trouble. And he picks up his sixth strikeout. Not going to the bullpen, going back to the dugout as he gets Bowers and a strong five innings for the rookie right. Three two, there's a strikeout. Swing and a miss. Good inning from Oazaga. Pitch struck him out, swing, breaking ball down. Roman has to throw to first with the two three put out and the one two. Struck him out, swinging, breaking ball. And I might add, he is pitching great. So the 2-2 two -two struck him out, swinging, breaking ball. Strikeout number five for Lewisica. Strike three. Hoskins down looking, and he does not like the call. Swing and a miss. He strikes out the side. Seven strikeouts. Perfect through four. Runner goes. Pitch cut out a miss. The throw to second base is not in time. Oh is nubbed weakly up the first baseline and the throw to first is in time no run the no hitter continues no runs no hits one left end of five and there's the first base hit of the game for the Phillies a 3-2 pitch line to right field so Alfaro picks up a single running against the bunt slow roll second base they have one out they make it and now the runners move up and takes the ball from the wise guy. High deep drive to left field. Mancini is back at the track. Get up, ball. Get out of here. God. Two run, a home run for Denny Jensen. His second home run of the season. You know, when you are in a fastball count, you're hitting at the bottom of the lineup, you know they're going to challenge you with a fastball. Get ready to hit it. Get those hands moving, and that's what Jan Danny Jansen did on that swing. He's done a good job of working with the rookie tonight. In and out. A little chopper up third base line. Jansen throws him out. Now a couple of terrific defensive plays by the battery. Baraki stays with the ball and knocked his glove off. And now his battery mate, Danny Jansen. Comes out of the shoot, bare hands the ball, and makes a fine throw to first base in time. Of a real good defensive place here in the seventh inning. Jansen quickly grabs the ball, bare hands, fires a strike to first in time to get back up into the inning. Swing in the drive. This ball is way back. Danny Jansen, home run number three.
Jensen had a home run in Baltimore, and he put the wood on that one. Boy, what a great sound coming off that bat. You throw a slider that, like that that just hung up there. He saw one a couple of pitches ago and missed it. That time, sped up his bat, and he absolutely leveled that pitch. Blue Jays have put up four so far. Brandon Miles struck out. He squares the bunt. And Jensen's got a shot at the runner at second. They get him. Oh, what a heads up play by Danny Jensen. Adamas over aggressive with his secondary lead. And Danny Jensen threw a strike to second base. That's one of the hardest plays for a runner at second base, I think. You can see where the pitch is. If it's a strike, you can get out there. The batter pulls the bat back. Thank you. Here's Hughes VLT as he's had a few good cats tonight. Marvel throws. Swing and a try to left field. It's deep. Hill going back. And the track running out of room. It's gone. Hughes VLT as has given Bowie the lead. It's a long two-run homer. His fifth of the year with the Bay Sox. His 11th of the year overall. It's four to three. Bowie. What a shot. Rodriguez going back at the wall, looking up, and it's gone. A three-run shot for Diaz as he shoots it the other way. Tremendous opposite field power for Diaz. The prime prospect in the trade for Manny Machado. And he has put Bowie ahead for nothing. And with two outs, here's Sandro Fabian. Fabian struck out looking in the second inning. He's 0 for 1. Sixers leading 1 to nothing, but runners to corners for San Jose. And a fastball in there for a call strike. Here's the 0 1. And a swing and a miss. On. Offering that was low and outside. Fabian chased it. The town 0-2. We'll see what Canning does if he climbs the ladder here. Or throws another one down and away. Here's the 0-2. He throws another one in the dirt, but Fabian able to lay off. And Kruger, a nice job to smother that ball. Two down runners at the corners. Inland Empire leading 1-0 despite the fact that Inland Empire does not have a base hit in this game. Three trips to the plate. San Jose still only has one hit, and that was the leadoff batter of the game. But they're threatening. Here's the one-two, and a fastball swung on and missed. He did climb the ladder and got the strikeout. And for Canning, another strikeout. Crouches the 0 2. He checks his swing. He went around. And that is strike three. Canning strikes out White Sox top prospect, Eloy Jimenez. That's strikeout number eight. And the 0 2. Swing and a miss. Got him on another off speed pitch. And Cruz goes down on three pitches. James with the 1 2. Swing and a miss. Got one by Seeger. Elevated and away. Swing and a miss. Hundo. Hundo. Josh James' his third strikeout in a 1 2 3 second. Swing and a miss. Got him with the slider. Was he 38 now? 1 2 change up. Swings right through it. It's a strikeout. Swing and a miss. Gets Herbert on a 98 mile an hour fastball to end the inning. Cano off second. James looks at him a couple of times. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him on a slider away. 
Good morning, good afternoon, and good night for Nelson Cruz. One out. Yeah, that was very impressive once again. His best outing as a major leaguer. So Josh James is on the mound. Rafael Devers will bat. And James, his first bullet from the bullpen is 101. Devers starting that swing early, comes up empty. Another triple digit fastball by James. 102. Austin was adding on. And he fouls that one away, it was late. Another one at 102. Huge spike in the fastball. And a strikeout. He goes back to the heat. Yeah, Nolan Ryan, the Ryan Express. They're playing Gorman to pull. Stadler ready. One, two, pitch. Swung on. Hammered to deep right field. Way back. Over the head of the right fielder. It is gone. A three run game ending jack for Will Gorman. And the Hops win it eight to five. The celebration goes on at home plate as they pour the bucket of ice water on it. Ray reaches back, fastball driven high and deep to right again. Taylor going back against the wall. He will look up and watch this sail out of here. Another home run, the second of the game for Nolan Gorman. And it's now a 5-3 contest. Abreu has been taken deep twice by Nolan Gorman. He now has four home runs, three of them against the River Bandits.